In this video, we will learn how to place and aim luminaires in AGI 32. There are three methods you can use to place individual luminaires. Your choice will often depend on the luminaire photometric distribution and or the application at hand. There is also a fair amount of personal flexibility allowed, so you may find that one approach is simply easier for the current task. So let's explore. All luminaire positioning is done from the luminaire toolkit. Before you can place luminaires, you must have defined the photometry to the current job file using the define command. Then you can simply select the luminaire you want by label from the menu. All settings in the toolkit will be active when you place the luminaire. These are mounting height and the various aiming angles. Let's enter a mounting height of 10 feet. We'll leave all the aiming angles set at zero. From the Locate button, if we access the pull-down menu, you'll see there are three choices. The currently active version of the command is indicated on the button. Click the Locate button. Notice the command line says Select or Enter a Luminaire Location. We'll zoom in a little bit, and you can see there's actually a Luminaire symbol attached to the cursor. Click the mouse, and we've actually dropped a Luminaire Location. The Locate option allows us to drop a luminaire with each click of the left mouse button. The aiming angles are per the settings in the toolkit. We're currently placing with Orient equals zero, which faces the zero degree horizontal plane of photometry to the east. Notice the arrow in the symbol. This indicates the Orient angle. Using the Locate option, we can place luminaires with a single click. Then we simply click the right mouse button to terminate the command. Now that you have the idea, let's see some flexibility in the Locate command. Let's say we need to orient luminaires at 45 degrees. Just put 45 degrees in the Orient cell in the toolkit. Select the luminaire you need. In this case, we change to a fluorescent 1x4 and click the Locate button. Now we're actually locating luminaires with an orient of 45. Remember, orient equals zero points east, so this would be 45 degrees. Or, how about, let's aim something to the north, so let's use an orientation of 90, and let's tilt it 60 degrees. And let's select a different luminaire, and let's click Locate. And we'll put in a few of those. Let's look at it in Elevation View. And you can see they are indeed tilted 60 degrees. To get a better view of this, you can actually toggle on the photometric web. OK, back to Plan View. So let's go ahead and clean this up. We'll delete all the luminaires, and let's move on to the next option, the Locate and Orient option. This is very similar to Locate, and all the same rules apply in terms of setting up the mounting height and the orientation, aiming angles, etc. in the toolkit. However, this is a two-click process. The first click sets the XY location of the luminaire, and the second sets the Orient angle, or the horizontal aiming angle. Let's select our fluorescent luminaire, click Locate and Orient, first click drops the luminaire, and now the second click sets the orientation angle. Let's try it again. Click, click, right click to terminate the command. This is useful for area lighting or any application where you need to orient a luminaire. Remember, Orient is the horizontal rotation of photometric zero. As a tip, with snap off, if snap's disabled, you will have a heck of a time hitting even orient angles, such as zero or 90 or 45 or something like that. And you'll often end up with luminaires that are just slightly out of kilter. Best to always have the snap on.
As another tip, the further you pull the cursor away from the luminaire location, the finer the orient angle you can actually achieve. Move the cursor back closer to the luminaire and it's very easy to hit increments of 90 or 45 degrees. Move it away and you might hit 10 degrees. The orient angle is always shown on the command line. So, locate an orient. First click sets the luminaire location. Click. Second click sets the orient angle. Cleaning this up, let's move on to the third option, the locate and aim option. In this version of the command, the first click sets the luminaire XY coordinate location, like locate and orient, but the second click aims the center beam intensity, or nadir, zero degrees vertical in the photometric report. This is best for floodlights or any luminaire where you need to aim the center beam. Track heads are another example. Let's select the floodlight photometry from the label menu. Click locate and aim. Again, first click drops the luminaire location. And now you see we have an aiming vector attached to the luminaire. Also you will notice that the orient and tilt aiming angles float as I move this vector. I click a point and I've actually aimed that luminaire. Let's try it again. Click, aim, click, aim. Right click to terminate the command. In this case we've actually aimed all of these luminaires, the aiming point, to a coordinate of z equals zero. Let's look at a couple of different alternatives. Okay, let's clean this up again and let's create an object 60 feet tall. Let's go back to the Luminaire Toolkit and let's set a mounting height of 20 feet. Let's say this flood is on a 20 foot pole and maybe we want to aim it 10 feet up the wall. So click locate and aim. I'll now drop the luminaire location, which is at 20 feet, the mounting height, and I'll pull the aiming vector over to the face of the building, or whatever it may be, and we're now at z equal 10. Click the mouse. Let's look at this in elevation view. There we can see luminaire at 20, aiming point at 10. All right, back to plan. Here's another possibility. How about if we want a luminaire mounted on the ground? We'll put a mounting height in of one foot. We'll just zero the aiming Z right now because I'll show you another way to do it. Interactively, if we click locate and aim, we can actually place this luminaire on the ground, pull the aiming vector over to the face. Notice in the lower right corner of the screen we actually have an aim Z coordinate. I don't have to click in there. I just move the cursor over the cell and I'll type in a Z of 50. Click the aiming vector on the face. Right click to terminate the command. Let's look at it again in elevation. And now you can see this luminaire is actually aimed up the facade or whatever it may be. All right, back to plan. As a final option for the locate name command, it's possible to have the luminaire location snap back to the same XY location after setting the aiming point by just holding down the shift key. Let's try this. Zero the aim Z. And let's change the mounting height to say 50 feet. This is useful for sports lighting and large scale, large scale flood lighting. Click locate and aim click the first luminaire location. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key. Notice how the cursor snapped directly back to the same point. Click the aiming. There I've actually aimed four floodlights, all from the same XY location. XYZ location actually.
This is valid for sports or large-scale flood lighting where the mounting height is very tall. So the XY locations are not really critical. It doesn't really matter if they're all at one point. However, you must be using only direct calculation mode as the symbols are stacked on top of one another. Notice that. If you switch to full calculation mode, the symbols will block light, resulting in inaccurate calculations for the task. In review, three methods to place single luminaires in AGI 32. Now again, we're not talking arrays or along lines, just single luminaires. There's the locate command. This sets a luminaire with one click, aiming based off the toolkit settings. There's the locate and orient command. Again, first click drops the XY location of the luminaire. The second click sets the orient angle. And the third option, locate and aim. The first click sets the XY location of the luminaire. And the second click sets the XY location of the aiming point. And that's all there is to it.